Hello everyone, welcome on back to Survival Challenge. So of course, first things first, we'll be having, well, some planting to do for this field. We'll be putting barley in. Like I mentioned at the end of the last video, we'll be doing liquid fertilizer. We have like 4,000 liters of it, so we should probably just you know, use some of it up. This is a good opportunity to do so. Help us get rid of some of the products we do have on the farm. We are running a little bit low on seeds, I noticed, when I was filling this up and getting rid of the, the solid fertilizer. So probably uh, one of the next time we bring our flatbed up, we'll have to just load up a bunch of bags of seeds and fertilizer. Not sure how we're doing for herbicide. Maybe that too. We do have the two smaller trees that do need to be brought up at some point. I noticed them sitting by the sitting by the silo there. I must have cut them down at some point, and I have completely forgot about them since. I did fill up uh, sheep water and I believe the, the olive tree as well. Got those all topped off. Oh. Probably should look where I'm going. Still nothing great in the sales for like a combine. That's kind of like my my hope. My hope is that there's a combine that'll pop up. Maybe not right now, because we probably wouldn't have quite enough money. But once we are starting to really look for one, I hear <laughs> that's where I'm hoping to find it save you know a good 40 50 percent off that would be nice well once this field is done we should have a pretty good large stockpile of barley then or uh, where hopefully we can you know plant something else in here as well right now we I think we have 11,000 liters in the silo so I would uh, I would imagine we'll be sitting, you know, 20,000 or so liters in there. Which will be nice. But we'll see. You know, if we obviously we have, let's say, fields down there. Then maybe, you know, we'll just keep doing barley for a while in this field. And just get a larger and larger stockpile. It won't hurt us. We do have a fairly large capacity for the silo. It's like, two. is it 2 million? Leaders, something like that. It's a lot. I uh, I re I remember that being part of the reason why I got it. For the price, it was just unbeatable. There we go. That all turned off. It should be everything. We'll go and grab the sprayer, get that emptied of uh, herbicide. Not sure how much we have in there. Been a little bit since we sprayed. Well, actually, I think we did the that soybean field not too long ago, but for me, it's been over a week. Try not to hit the mower. Keyword try. Didn't say I would uh, succeed at it. There we go. Well, it looks like we'd have to take the sprayer out first anyways for the wind rower. Almost 1,500 liters of herbicide. Not too bad. Let's get this filled up with some liquid fertilizer. Hopefully that's close enough. But yeah, we've had this, what, here since pretty early on. I think 2,000 liters should be good enough. Just four, basically 4,000 liters just sitting there. 
So it'll be nice to get rid of it. Otherwise, we're just going to have it sitting there even longer. But I might start using some of it if we... Well, as long as we have the time and everything to go over it again. Alright, let's get this unfolded. Even though, I mean, spraying won't take very long. Even just for the fertilizer. Two strips, basically. And it's early, early enough on where it's easy enough to see where you've been. That's always my struggle with, with spraying herbicide. Or not herbicide, but fertilizer. Always tough to see where you've been. It's a lot easier with uh, precision farming. We have it in the mini-map there. Yeah, I think we'll probably have to go through maybe a third strip. If I remember right, it's a little bit wider up there. But we may have to go over it one more time. And just the like the one, one small spot. Yeah, you can see it's just a little bit too wide. Not much, though. Honestly, I may, I may go and bring those two small trees up now. Get some bags of seeds and fertilizer, sockpile again. That way we have it. Probably need more bags of lime soon, too, if we're going to, obviously... Be making some more fields. Let me go down one more. Not that big of a spot. Yeah, we can finally sell that. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, it doesn't say... It doesn't think we need any here. Okay. It does, doesn't show it's fertilized, but it, it must have been. It won't fertilize the same thing twice. It'll just put it at its, you know, where it needs to be. So we must have got enough overspray or something from spraying the other, the other side. Although I think I'm gonna wait on buying lime. We can wait and buy a bunch whenever we do need it. Because realistically, we'll probably only slowly be plowing up the new fields. Oh, I suppose we gotta turn that off, get it folded up. Yeah, you know, we may only do a field every, you know, two episodes or something like that. I'll spread it out a little bit. Put that there. Oh, I meant to take off the whole, all the adapters and everything. Drop that there. I'll just put the forks on, get it put back up where it was. We didn't use that much. All right, there we go. Got them all loaded up. I'm not going to cut them in half or anything, just because honestly that bit might be small enough where it would just disappear. But I'm just going to hope that it doesn't hit anything, or anybody, for that matter. We'll get them brought up, sold, won't be a lot of money, but just so we can get it off the off the farm. We'll go worry about them then, and we'll buy a couple bags of seeds and fertilizer. Probably more, probably more seeds and fertilizer, at least for the time being. Since, uh, obviously we're going to be using all liquid fertilizer for the time being. Right here we are at the store. Go ahead, back here, get these sold. And I'm thinking maybe three bags of seeds. Maybe one bag of fertilizer. 
just because we do obviously have all the all the liquid fertilizer to still go through. Do of course have to take these off, otherwise they won't sell. Yeah, it's 450 bucks. <laughs> That's not a lot. Not even enough to buy a bag of seeds. It's like halfway. Halfway there. I think I'll buy a total of four bags in total, but it'll be three bags seeds and one of solid fertilizer. Let's big bags seeds. Buy three of that and one bag of solid fertilizer for the time being. Try to grab all four at once. Make it a little bit easier to load them. I suppose I'm kind of dragging the one on the ground, which is not not helping. Oh, there we go. Nice and easy. Those strapped up and we'll head back. Probably grab the winter over and start on the new new land. Start getting that wind road. That way we can bail it next time. Alright, so let's start heading down here. I did just realize we should probably make, you know, extend our path down this direction at some point. For the time being, we're just kind of driving on you know, grass. This unfolded. Actually, let's just do that right now. Wouldn't cost too much. Do a little bit of dirt. Maybe not like all the way, you know, make a full pass around where we're going to put roads, but at least bring it down here or something. At least for the time being. Make that a little bit bigger, and we'll probably do a circle for the time being. Alright, just putting the final touches on here. I'm not sure if it's in the best position there is, but we do only own up to like right here. That's kind of, kind of unfortunate, <laughs> although we own down here. We don't own the very, like, basically the tree line, it looks like. We'll just keep this down here, kind of extend it down. Something will be down here. It won't be a field, though. It'll be like a second farm almost or something. Animal section of the farm. Although we have kind of all the animals... Already up at the main. That looks pretty good. On that a little bit. Alright. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's kind of at a, obviously, a pretty steep hill. I'm not sure how that well is going to be, you know, bringing up fully loaded trailers or anything. There we have the $100 out the bank account. Because, like I've said in the past, I've always had the free landscaping tools on, the mod. It's more so just to... So I'm not spending all of our money if I make a mistake or something. I can just, you know, fix the mistake and not, you know, waste five grand or whatever it is. You know, just to fix something that I had accidentally did. Obviously, like in this case, maybe it wouldn't have cost $100. Maybe it would have been more. You know, it's just so we, we do get 
charge something. It's not a lot, but it's something. Probably do one lap around, maybe two. Then we'll start making some strips up and down. I can already tell this feels like it might take longer than the mowing. At least it feels like we're not making as much progress. But we were at, what, three, four miles an hour faster? It might have been a little bit wider. Oh, yeah, this is right at the edge of the field, edge of our land. Because you can mow it, but you can't pick it up. So, unless we buy that field right down, you know, blow us there, we'll just have to deal with seeing that for the rest of our time. I have to try to remember that when I'm bailing it, too, that there's a bunch that I can't get right there. Yeah, how wide is this compared to the mower? Seven meters. How wide would this be? Six and a half. So it's not that much, like, smaller. There is obviously bigger options, but we are trying to save a little bit of money. Still have plenty of purchases to come. I mean, right now we probably wouldn't have enough money for the, the two upcoming purchases at some point we'll have, so... The, the olives will be sold at some point in there, and that'll be where a lot of it will come from, I'm guessing. I think we have over $20,000, right? Yeah, over thirty, Probably over $40,000 of olives by the time it's time to sell. I think it's right around the same time soybeans are up. But we'll be sitting pretty good in three months, four months. Just gonna have to, you know, basically wait, honestly, for the prices to get better and soybeans, obviously, to be ready to harvest. Not quite there yet. Now, be interested to see how many bales we're gonna get from this. I would personally guess it'd be like 35. I'm gonna guess that right now. We haven't even started baling them. So, you know, put your guesses on what you're thinking in the comments, because I'm thinking about 35. In the past, when we've done this, it's usually been like 30, 40. So I'm just going to write down the middle. And grass bales are smaller than straw or hay. They're a couple thousand liters less. I think they're like six and a half thousand, seven thousand liters. And we'll sell them for about five hundred bucks per thousand liters. Make quite a bit of money from that. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Has yet to not be worth it for for doing this. You know, in a sense, you could look at it as instead of being $170,000 for the field, it'll be $120,000. But, you know, just sell it, basically. Take a little bit of time. Really, all it is is just time. A couple things, obviously, we don't own, but eventually we'd want it to get it anyways, so... Not like that's a bad thing that we have to buy a couple pieces of equipment. We're gonna buy it eventually, anyways. Well, I suppose we could start making some strips up and down the 
down the field here. Yeah, I think I'm going to start up the time lapse. We should just basically finish this in the time lapse. Yeah, I will uh, talk to everyone once the time lapse is done. strip for the wind rowing the home stretch that's a lot of swaths this is gonna take a really long time to bail really really long time to bail I I would count them but I, I feel like I'd end up like you know miscounting one because there's just so many uh, probably e easily 20 Yeah, like 20, like 20, 21. Plus, there's obviously like this strip at the top. And really, I basically counted the same strip twice, because they're you know, on each side. But well, that, uh, I think that just about does it for today. I think next time, we'll obviously have the herbicide to spray. I'm not sure how close the soybean field is. Maybe that'll be ready. Maybe. We can hope. But we'll probably buy the trailer at least. That way we can pick up the bales, kind of get them put somewhere. And the wrapper can kind of wait. Um, don't wait until we have the money at least. So. Well, that is everything for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.